So the town of Eagleton had a population of 185,000 in 2005 and a population of 162,000 in 2010 after the city coffers went bankrupt. Answer the following. Find the model that gives the population of Eagleton as a function of T the number of years after 2005. So this is actually the same formula that we use to do a growth factor um, in terms of two data points. So the initial data point was in zero, it was 185,000. And then five years later, it was 162. So the model P of T is still A naught times A at n time years later over A naught raised to the T over N. So our initial value was 185. Five years later, it was 162. So put that over the initial. And this is T to the one times the one fifth, or T over five. What is the decay rate of Eagleton's population? So we'll take, right, we ignore the T. We say 162 over 185 raised to the one fifth. And if I subtract one from that, it's gonna give me the rate, right? Because this is just the factor. So, put this in our calculator, 162 divided by 185 raised to the 1 -fifth, subtract 1, and I get the rate in decimal form, so I get negative 0 0.20, or negative 0 0.0262. So, negative 0 0.0262, so in a percentage, that is negative, can't multiply by 100 today, y'all, negative 2.62%. When will Eagleton's population fall to 100,000? So we can do this by setting our model equal to 100 and finding the intersection. So if I go into my calculator, I'm gonna put, oops, sorry. I'm gonna put the model in. So my model is 185 times 162 divided by 185 raised to the T over five. And then I wanna, oops, back to Y equals. Then I wanna set this equal to 100, all right? So I'm gonna go into my window here and 10 years might not be long enough, so why don't we look uh, out to 30 or 40. You can just kind of play with this. I'm just going to go out about 40 years and then I'm going to zoom fit. And so remember if we can't see the intersection when we zoom fit you just expand X out further until you can actually see the intersection. So we did good. We went out to 40 so it's somewhere in here in the middle. So if I go to second calc intersect there's the first curve, there's the second curve, take a guess, and it's 23.169 years. Once again though, it said when, so since this is since 2005, if I add 23 to 2005, it's going to be in the year 2028. So it didn't specify month. Um, so we just assume once again we're starting at January 1st. So there's a few practice on your own problems um, and all the answers are in the back of the packet and I'll see you for section 5.3.